Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I found this famous sphere foam online. It's quite interesting and I tried to figure it out. It, it was a little bit hard at the beginning, but once I figure it out, it's quite easy. So I'd like to share with you on my finding. Are you ready? Let's get started. When we're starting this shape, we can almost know that this is actually two half. So if we can create in one half here, for example, right here, and then we can create in the other half and we're just blending the surface in the middle, that will work. So that's starting from the scratch. So we're going to start in from the top view with the arc command and that's snapping into the zero for whatever size that you wanted to have. In this case, I just want to type it 20 holding my shift and then swing to the other side 180 degree and left click. So I will have this one. The second thing I wanted to just giving myself a reference. So I'm going to go with the straight line and that's the polyline and going to snapping into the zero type it zero here and i want to type it 20 for the length so it's the same length with the arc in the radius all right and then so we going to start in thinking about what is the the top here is going to look like so i'm going to create another small arc and this arc is going to be two millimeter and swing to the other side and this arc because I wanted them all be the same height so I'm going to move it down from this point down right here okay and I also want to make sure I have another arc right here the same thing two millimeter and swing to the other side and again I want to use the move command to move this one down all right so the key is we need to connecting those points from this arc to this arc the best way to connect it is we are going to use the blend command we're gonna blend in between here and here and that's click ok now we have this one i don't need this curve go below to this curve this arc here so let's go ahead to use a trim command we're gonna use this arc to trim off this arc right there all right Let's go ahead to, to get it symmetrical, let's go ahead to mirror it to the other side. So we got something like this. This one need to be mirror as well. And I'm going to join everybody. For the arc we just created, let's go ahead to join it. And we want it to split right in the middle. So that's using the cutting object is the point and that's snapping with this point. All right, so I got this shape here, this shape there. Then coming into the top view, I want to have another arc. So I'm going to go snapping into this point to this point, And then on my top view, holding the shift. So I will get a perfect half round there. So how are we going to creating this surface? We are going to go the surface with a sweep to rail. This is your rail, rail one, rail two. And remember, you want to click on the point here on the command bar and you want to snap in right here. The second thing you want to click on the profile and then the last profile right here and that's hit enter and then that's how you get this shape. Once you get this shape, all we need to do is a bunch of the mirror and the rotate. So first, let's go ahead to mirror this guy from this point to this point and let's go ahead to join them. The second thing is we wanted to mirror from our top view from this point to this point and don't forget to rotate it with the gumball holding the shift then you will rotate in 90 degree and that's how we get this part now sometimes it depends on what the, the curve that you generate at first if you have a hard time to join those two together like what I have all you need to do is cutting out the surface right in the middle and blend them. Let me show you what I mean. I just need to cut out a very small area. And I want to make sure this small area is right in the middle. So I want to use the align horizontal and just type it zero. And then you can even make them smaller if you want to. I want to make them a decent size so you can see what I'm doing there. And then just go ahead to trim off anything inside of this rectangle. We no longer need this rectangle there. Let's take a look on the perspective view. 
Now we have a gap in the middle. We want to connect them by blend surface. Make sure that chin edge is click when you click on your object. And then that will be the first edge and that will be the second edge. And then that will automatically to create this really smooth surface right in the middle. Let's go ahead to join them. Now double check that on my right side, it shows it's a closed solid poly surface. And here's a render view for this Hemisphere. I hope you enjoy this video like I do. Sometimes it takes a long time to figure out how things is actually working, but when I'm actually showing the demo, it looks really simple. But trust me, it takes a good time to do some brainstorming. I hope you enjoy it. It's quite easy, isn't it? If you like this video, I have a lot more to show you. There's a webinar that I have for transferring 2D image into 3D model. It's completely free. Check out the link at the description below. Hope to see you there. And thank you for watching. See you next.